Yang gang, do not despair. If I have to see one more post about people saying about how they're gonna jump train or they're gonna vote independent, this is the last time. Sure, the DNC screwed up big time. They suck. Iowa was a shit show, a big fucking mess. Look, we cannot even begin to relent. Bill Clinton was like at 3% Iowa. Iowa means literally nothing when it comes to electability, when it comes to the United States as a whole. The fact that everybody is just bailing so damn early. New Hampshire is going to be in the bag. And we know for a fact that the Iowa polls were distorted. Everything up until now has been distorted. The great thing about my wonderful state of New Hampshire, ladies and gentlemen, is that we have a very archaic system. And although archaic is not good when it comes to polls, it's pretty awesome when it comes to voting. So don't despair. We're going to have a pretty accurate um, representation of where things are in New Hampshire. And we're an independent state, so I'm going to say this. Uh, as much as I am very positive and and, and um, optimistic that Andrew Yang's going to do really well in New Hampshire, I'm up also realistic if he doesn't do well in New Hampshire. That indicates a lot more than we thought it did, unfortunately, um, because New Hampshire voting isn't going to be skewed. It, other than the fact that we have some pretty extreme right-wing uh, laws not allowing certain people to vote, but it's an open primary. For the most part, a lot of people can vote. So, and a lot of people are voting for Andrew Yang. Let me tell you what. There's a lot of people going to Tulsi too. I'm not going to act like she doesn't have a strong presence here. She absolutely does. Um, but as time goes on, you're going to see this turn around quite a bit, I think. Um, not just think. I'm very, very, very confident. Um, I mean, I was pretty confident about Iowa too, but I had really no concept of how much they screwed um, things with that uh, app and all that. I had really uh, no idea that things are going to be different this year for the uh, the caucuses and when I thought it was going to be business as usual. New Hampshire is very different. You go, you vote, it goes into a ballot box, done. Uh, and uh, I, I do trust the election system in New Hampshire. So I think that if he doesn't have a good showing in New Hampshire, that's realistic unfortunately um and i'm uh facts versus feelings guy so uh as much as we don't want that and i don't think that's gonna happen uh, i think new hampshire is gonna prove very strong for andrew yang and catapult him into the other debates i think we're gonna keep on seeing him go right to the top it's gonna come down to him and bernie at the end of the day um the town hall was absolutely phenomenal you couldn't have asked for a better follow-up. I think these town halls are better one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. uh, I mean, really, Joe Rogan's the best scenario with any presidential candidate to really know what they're thinking and how, you know, this whole debate thing is just archaic and stupid. Uh, but uh, the nice thing about the town halls is it gives a lot of face time with one candidate and it doesn't do a lot of uh, jumping around and all that. So I think that the thing that people are really going to like about um the town hall when they see it on YouTube or if they watched already was how well Andrew handled the questions, uh, how well he handled voters. Um, I think the problem is his electability. People don't think that he can win and then they don't vote for him because they don't think he can win. It's the same thing. The libertarians, uh, we, we struggle with, uh, you well, don't vote for the guy, yeah, but can he really win? And then nobody votes for him. So, uh, we may be dealing with that um, that facet right now of uh, what all independent third parties deal with. Uh, and this is a candidate among the Democratic Party. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, this isn't vote for who you think you can win uh, the primary. The, this is who you like and who you think can beat Donald Trump to win the primary to beat Donald Trump. Like, it's your favorite, uh, not, well... Yeah, but can you really win? No, just vote who you think is the best way to go. That's what the primary is for. It's specifically for this type of stuff. Same with the caucuses. Ladies and gentlemen, we are not in this to give up. 
We are in this for the long haul. My kid is my priority. And none of these candidates have a really good concept of what it's going to be uh, for them in the future. Um, they're futures are really contingent on what we do as a society moving forward. And I am concerned very much that Andrew Yang is the only person that's really uh, articulating um, real solutions. Um, and uh, the thing that we need to look at here is positivity is everything negative outlook is going to bring us a negative result. You need to be positive and unwavering. He is the winner. It doesn't matter what people say or think. Donald Trump at this point was garbage in the polls, garbage in Iowa, um, and he rocketed himself right to the top. So do not let you, history, all you gotta do is look back in time. Um, you know, People like John Kerry did really well in both Iowa and New Hampshire. A lot of times if you have a strong contender in Iowa and New Hampshire. Somebody like Pete does good in New Hampshire and Iowa. You've got a DNC party boy. Um, and that's exactly what's going to happen um, with Pete. I think they're going to paint him out to be the contender. They are, he's going to be the party nominee. And I think we all need to prepare for that. Uh, they're they're the, the not that he's going to get the nominee, but he, the, he's the, the DNC's horse that they're backing. And uh, that's really, a really dangerous game because I talk to a lot of Trump supporters and there's a lot of Trump supporters that would vote for Andrew Yang, but they're not going to vote for Mayor Pete. They're not going to vote for any of these other people. Um, and then we're going to lose to Trump again all over. I mean... Mayor Pete is not going to stand through a debate with Donald Trump at all. He's not going to survive that. Do you see him surviving that? I don't see him surviving that. Is that ash on my face? Um, he's not going to manage a debate with Donald Trump. He's just going to cave in and get real angry and rat faced, get real pissy like he did with Elizabeth Warren when they were back, back and forth or Tulsi when they were back and forth. He has no ability to be Donald Trump. Donald Trump will tear him apart. And I think Andrew Yang makes a very valid point. Um, but we've got to be really concerned. The DNC is a trash fire right now. What they did in Iowa is, is unforgivable. Um, what they did to Bernie last election, unforgivable. But it's so important that we keep on canvassing and pushing as hard as we can in New Hampshire. Calling people um, is huge. Um, and I'm trying to do it. I'm trying to balance my own life stuff. And I feel bad that I haven't been doing more calls. Because if we have time, we should be putting in that time. Uh, this is uh, no stops all you know, full steam ahead. We need to win New Hampshire as much as we can. Um, and I think if we keep doing what we're doing now, we're going to get there. Um, but we got to have that positive attitude and we got to continue crunching forward. The amount of despair and just crushed people online, it, 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 it crushes me because it's exactly what the DNC wants you to think and feel. They want you to feel that despair and crushed and sense of, of uselessness. Like it's all hopeless. I didn't, I did all of that work for nothing. But in reality, it just means it's working. It means all of that work you did is exactly what the DNC is pissed about. It's, it's, it's not okay for them in their minds to have to deal with three different candidates that they've got to squish. Not just one, but two, but three. They've got Tulsi down and out of the way, and now they're going to try to squish Yang and, and Bernie. They're not happy about it, and you can tell it's working by how much they push back. And I call it a conspiracy theory, but I'll uh, put in the link a link down in the comments below a video that 
there was a crystal ball, I think, with Rising the Hill Rising or whatever, with Crystal and Sagar or whatever, talking about how the DNC was rigged. It's just, it was. It was just rigged. They released the information as if Pete won with no data released yet. That's one. Two, they started to paint it out like he won even more once 62% of the polls were in. It's just bullshit. And you know what? Andrew Yang addressed it at the at the town hall. I'll also put the town hall down in the uh, comments below. Zach and Matt Show put a repost up for it. And it's just good. It is delicious. Because there's people are now just starting to tune in. Remember that. We are just now getting the attention of people. There are people that haven't watched the, the anything until right now because this is when it actually people are voting, things are happening. Bernie Sanders is supposedly the front runner uh, next to Pete Buttigieg, or that who knows what they what the DNC is going to try to paint out. But the fact is this: it, it's working. Keep pushing hard because they're going to push back harder. They're obdurate. It, it is absolutely pertinent to them that they do not have two grassroots outsider candidates that crush the DNC. This is literally what happened to the GOP uh, in a mirrored fashion. Uh, it's just the way things happen. Um, you you look at thing, everything is numbers and patterns in this reality. Everything is numbers and patterns. And uh, just like on the GOP side, Donald Trump had a ocean of contenders. And one by one, he knocked them down. And one by one, they said he couldn't do it. Starting with Iowa, he had no chance of winning. And then made a showing, a hell of a showing in New Hampshire. A hell of a showing in all these other states. Uh, I think you're going to find Don, uh, Andrew Yang is going to be the outsider candidate that they're not expecting. Just like the last race. Every step of the way. I'm going to try to find a link and put it down below to highlight the rise of Donald Trump so we can all have a stoic reminder of how it really works. The numbers and polls don't mean shit. They're, uh, they're archaic forms of metrics and they're not helping us gain any real traction uh, when it comes to real political control of the people. Money has the power right now. And we need to change our mindset. It's our outlook. That's it. Positivity at all costs. I'm not going to lie. I felt a little upset and crushed when I saw that data. But it was less of a defeated feeling and more of an anger towards the DNC. Because you know, you know that they fudged that data. The, the numbers paint a picture. Uh, that shadow app or whatever was all paid for by Pete Buttigieg, like, and then he's the front runner, and and he's the first person to, you know, come out and go, oh, I'm the front runner without any data. Like, it didn't go the way they expected, and they still had to have a winner. I, I think there's a lot more behind the scenes than people are actually seeing. Um, because we're so numb to it now. We're so numb to false falsehoods and lies. Um, and the DNC thinks they can get away with it too. Donald Trump just say whatever he wants and it's fine. And and it's obviously worked for him. I mean, this, this must be the state of the human you know, condition. We're all just complacent as fuck right now. Which is why we need to wake ourselves up and make America think harder every single day, spread it around like a plague, like the plague of information. Uh, and maybe that sounds bad because plague has a bad connotation to it, but uh, it needs to become viral. It needs to spread from person to person. That's how we win this thing. Um, and I, I do believe unwaveringly that, that uh, Donald Trump, um, and Andrew Yang were kind of made to go against each other. So I, I, I find it really shocking um, 
if he doesn't end up the candidate and just, I mean, look at the rise in this, it, you, you look at it from a number standpoint and it's a metric curve, right? And he's just now started to really skyrocket. So now it's just going to be after the town hall and all of the, all of the, the time and direction that they put into, you know, Mayor Pete and whatnot. I think the DNC is going to eventually at some point have to realize that Yang is the more, realistic candidate to be Trump. Mayor Pete is not going to be their, their, the way to go. I mean, I know the DNC is kind of out of touch, um, but numbers were supposed to, they're, they're supposed to be all about like science and metrics. And these numbers are pretty telling. Um, Andrew Yang is the only one that can beat Donald Trump. And I think it comes out, like he says on the uh, town hall that we'll put in the, the, um, the comments that uh, you take a 50-50 chance or you're going to take somebody that can really just trounce him in the general election? I think that's a question we all have to ask ourselves. And part of the reason that it keeps me driving to push the information, to make videos like this, it's been a while um, because I really wanted to collect all the information before I put together a video. I think we all need to do that before we jump off the handle every single time. But I still feel very, very, very confident um, that uh, that Andrew Yang is going to be the candidate to win all of this to save us from this guy. Amy Klobuchar has zero chance um, and is just going to look bad at the next, next debate. I think that the next debate is going to be a defining moment for our, our, uh, our buddy. And I think it's where he can start to take Bernie to task. Um, so tomorrow night... Or tonight, ladies and gentlemen, I don't even remember when the debate is, but uh, I'm watching it for sure. Um, so stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're in for a ride. And uh, as always, thank you for your support. Subscribe, like, and all that stuff. Um, and spread the word. Don't despair. Stay focused. Stay positive.